hello everyone in this video let's talk about objected group and recently few months ago javascript releases this one and this is a uh, right now experimental stage so we can't use in the production but we can try it so i am going to explaining how group by works so before that let's take a look here in my vs code and here you can see i have a array of object and here is a tip four different types of object okay and i want to group them like admin and all the admin associated data here and members and all the member associated data so how can we do it so we know how can we do in our implementation like simply we can take the map so i have already written the logic so here you can see i have take one map and here i iterate every user and i extract a role and we can check this has role already instead of map we can set this array otherwise we can set the user and this is the one way we can do and let's take a console and what we get so here you can see this is the map and inside of map we have a key is admin and key has a two values that is james and mike and you can see james and mike has a admin role okay nice and uh, as well as member and you can see alex and rock is member role so that is great and second way we can do exactly same so let's comment out oh this is uncomment and we need to uncomment this one let's commit this logic from here and let's cut and paste this console here and now you can see exactly the same result here and we can do simply initialize the object and iterate every user and extract a role and check this role has then push the user inside of that so this is the key like admin and here we can initialize the array and inside of that particular user object so this is the second way so let's try how we get this result from the group by and that is why group by is introduced we can simplify the implementation so how can we do that so let's try out so let's comment all these things and let's cut this object from here and we can paste here so we can simply see how it will work and here we can write const and result and object dot group by so we can't get any suggestion right now might be because of experimental and here is take two argument first is the array of object so where we want to perform the task so we want to perform on user so let's pass here users okay and second one we need to pass as callback so what we can pass inside of callback so this is the callback and first argument of callback so here is the our single object user okay so let's get user and we can log that user here and see what happened and you can see we have a four different object and this result we have to return something okay and if we doesn't return anything it's return undefined so whatever return is grouped by them suppose we can console that log and the sold of log and we can result now the answer is undefined and undefined has a four values because we are nothing returning here suppose we return here as a key okay so it's okay and here okay has a four value and we can simply want to work on the group on the basis of role so just we have to return user dot sorry return 
user dot role and now we can see is group them by admin or member nice that is what we want to do and this is the really simple and we can also use in that way like we can restructure role and just use like that role how easy it is nice it work very well <coughs> and if we want to roll on name so we can just extract the name and here we can pass the name and is that every object has a single value okay that is perfect and suppose sometime we need to do like we have a object something like that i have a, a score and every student have a marks like 80 20 90 and i want to group of if a student marks greater than 50 i want pass them otherwise i want to fail all of them so how can we do that we can simply const result and object object dot group by and here we need to pass our array of object and here we need to write our callback so you know we use that and what we can do here we can do as a condition like if user dot marks is greater than 50 we just return as the pass otherwise we return fail so now and let's print out this result console dot log and result and now we can see all a student has a fail did silly mistake here we should pass a score so a score and now we can see two a student is passed and two a student is fell and we can also copy and we can try here you can see it will work fine now we can see three a student fail and two a student pass that is really great uh, this is a really time saver sometimes and you can try out object that group by i will include in the description so you can play around how to work and you can also see the supports this browser has a experimental support or not and you can try out i hope you can learn something new i will meet you in next one stay safe